To solve this problem, we need to apply the ideal gas law, and the most common form for that is the one that I have written right here, PV equals NRT. Let's get started by identifying all the variables that we're going to need to use in order to solve this problem. Uh, first, we know that we have been given a volume in units of milliliters this time, 98.15. We we're also given a temperature uh, that was 22.5 degrees Celsius, however, as always, we want to convert this to Kelvin. We found that the converted temperature was 295.65 Kelvin. We we're also provided information about pressure in units of torr. That pressure is 755 torr. Finally, we need to know which R value to use in this problem. Because we're dealing with pressure in units of torr, we need to choose the R constant, which is going to agree with that. So the R unit we use to solve this problem is 62.364 torr liters per mole Kelvin. Again, we want to match the units in the R value, torr, with the unit for pressure given in the problem. Now we can see that we're provided units of volume in liters in the R constant. That means that we're actually going to have to convert our 98.15 milliliters into units of liters in order to be able to solve this problem using the ideal gas law. Because one liter equals 1,000 milliliters, our converted volume will be our converted volume for the liter will be 0.09815 liters. Our next step is to take the ideal gas law and solve in terms of N. Now you might be asking why are we doing this? Aren't we looking for a number of molecules? This is our strategy. PV equals NRT. To solve for N, we need to divide by RT. So N will be equal to PV over RT. So we'd solve to find the value for N. It was going to be the pressure multiplied by the volume divided by the R constant multiplied by the temperature. Now we can go ahead and substitute in our known values and solve. Once we've subbed in all of our known values, let's go ahead and evaluate what's happening with the units in this problem. We can see that tor here will cancel with units of tor here. This liter will cancel with liters here. Kelvin here will cancel with Kelvin here. So we're left with units of one over one over mole, which is actually going to move this unit of mole into the numerator. Think about dividing one by one fourth. The answer you get there is four. So if we're taking one divided by one over mole, we'll get moles as our unit. After calculating for the number of moles, we find an answer of 4.019 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. I'm not quite done yet. At this point, what I need to do in order to find my final answer will be to convert from moles to number of molecules. Earlier in the problem, we had solved for n the number of moles by solving the ideal gas law for n. We found that that would equal PV divided by RT. So we substituted in our values and found an answer for the number of moles of 4.019 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of hydrogen. Now, to convert this to number of molecules, we'll take the number of moles, 4.019 times 10 to the minus 3, and we are going to multiply that by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. This is the number of molecules in one mole of hydrogen. This allows us to calculate a final answer of 2.42 times 10 to the 21 molecules of hydrogen. Our final answer will have three sig figs. This is going to be based off of the number which had the least number of sig figs in our setup, which was the pressure of 755 torr.